Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trendy, 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 trendy. Pull up with the hammer, Kali Vond. Vond. What I mean, Stari, come and go. Vond. Give me the music, come and John. John. Hey, guys. We have to sing at one point. Let us sing this one. We call it, uh, Yo, yo, story kwa kwa mitandao Ati na kaka difao Ati ni metupa mbao Jusura ni rangi ya tao They call me the bleacher Juhu ya filter miwe kakwa picha But as long as busy na jipa Busy jala na story za sifa Me bleacher ni kwa mwanatoa Me bleacher ni gladi na faa Me bleacher ni na enendesha Me bleacher ni bogi ya mta All sing the bleacher mikono Jutazidi kwa choresha giza Mindo kuli hupige mokono Hama rapa mekwa na madiva Juzi ni kwa raundi Dubai Kapatana na faa ni kipupa Haka nisho nyole weka dry Na sura upake mafuta Itole mashika the consequences So be ready for them action Atole wadha watu ke fuck nigga I wanna be Michael Jackson So ima juko na chuki sahi, atu anataku ni kushifai atu mekua mushi mushi ai atu juzi kwa suti sahi, boi mjaja toka islando, yup guys, I had to sing for you first before we we start our our ironing the first question goes to the first question goes to the so called grateful people but pretenders this is Nasto uh, and this is Mayuko. Who else? Who else in the village who, is, who pretend to be grateful and yet they are ungrateful? Who else? Who else? Okay, let me talk about those two people. This is Mayuko and this is Nasto, guys. Uh, when Mara received a child the other day, we watched the video. Uh, when Mara received a child, the following day, these two people did a video. Mayugula did a video saying, uh, you know, uh, first he called Ayamarwa. Boss, how are you? Marwa responded, I'm, I'm fine, bro. Everything is going uh, okay. Yeah, you know, today we I'm celebrating you. That is a big thing, you know. Uh, be blessed for having a, a new baby boy. And uh, he was, where was he that? He was at the villa. Mayugula was at the villa. And do you know the, the title? Celebrating Ayamarwa's first, ba uh, first born baby, uh, first new baby born, something like that. The same title to Nasto. Celebrating Ayamarwa, uh, a newborn baby. Guys, I'm asking you a question. From those two videos, was that real? Is that how it was supposed to be celebrated? For sure. The people who call themselves Timayamaro, the people who call themselves uh, Daihadas, the people who call themselves foot, foot, uh, foot, uh, foot uh, how do we call it? Foot soldiers of Ayamaro. Because these people, Maro tends to trust them. If, if it's true Marwa, now Nasto has a home. If it's true Ayamaro, now Mayukuna has a home. Was that the right way of celebrating a, a newborn child? You put a good title of celebrating a newborn child of Ayamara. But when we go to watch the video, we find that you are at, at the middle of the maize. Uh, the middle of the maize plantation. Walking inside with a GoPro. Trying to tell people that, you know, uh, Marwa, Marwa uh, has a, a newborn baby. And... Uh, uh, you know when uh, the wife uh, has a baby, he needs to, she needs to, uh, to take a soup so that she can get stronger very fast. That is celebration now. And uh, according to what Maro has done to these people's life, there is that young boy who uh, drew a tattoo on his hand. I am Maro. I don't know whether he is currently at the. Uh, which place? How, how do we call that place? I don't know whether it's Mchebe. He's currently at a place of uh, Diana Kemi's home. He's, he's making videos with Diana Kemi's sister. I don't know whether they want to, to do that thing. Of uh, uh, marriage. If you know, you know, guys. There is this boy who drew a tattoo on his hand. And he has never built a house through Ayamaro. Okay, I'm not pushing Mayuguno and Nasto to draw a tattoo. No, what I'm trying to say, 
There is a video that this boy did when he was in Tanzania celebrating Ayamarwa's birthday. He went and buy a cake. He bought a cake, I, uh, I remember. The cake was written Ayamarwa's name. He bought some uh, champagne. I think four of them. He called the friends, around 20 of them. Around 20 of them. They came together. They celebrated Ayamarwa's birthday. And he has never seen Ayamaro with a naked eye. By that time, he was been watching him just on video. Until now, as we talk, he has never seen Maro with a naked eye. Because the time that he came in Nyabuhansi, the, the time that he came into our village, Maro has already left to Argentina. So he has never seen Marwa in his life. He has never seen Marwa with a naked eye. But look at what he did. That is a true love. But drawing a tattoo is a stupidity of the highest order. But going and doing a party, doing, going and doing a birthday with a, a cake, a champagne, with friends that does not know who is even Ayamarwa, they have never seen him. They just see him on a YouTube. They celebrate. That boy gives you a challenge. Guys, the reason why I'm bringing you that story to you is through Ayamarwa, Nasto has a very, very beautiful home. I think if you started to rank uh, the best homes in the village, Nasto is among the top three. That one we appreciate. You know, when things, when something is good, let it be good. You know, it's good, it's good. Nasto is among the top three people who has a beautiful home through Ayamar. Mayuguno, I think Nasto is the top three person Third three person who has a quality home in the village through Ayamaro. Mayuguno, he can be among the top ten people who has a quantity. Mark my words, not quality. Who has a quantity home in the village through Ayamaro, despite that he messed his he messed on construction uh how do we call it? Planning. He planned wrongly. If we could build a simple home, a quality home like Nasto's home, currently Mayuguno could be having could have a home that is very complete. But uh, having a quantity and a land, those are also assets. We appreciate that through Ayamarwa, this guy has a quantity home. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, if that one will eh? this guy has a quantity, a quantity home. Me, I expected. I don't know whether you watched a video that Marwa had uh, very many YouTubers on his back. He, he, he has a thumbnail that he has a very many YouTubers who are in the villa uh, talking about Marwa, talking about Marwa, Marwa, our king, our boss, our boss. Me, I expected. These two people, because are the only footage, are the only goons that have remained that Marwa thrust ever. These two people, because they are the biggest uh, trustee of Ayamarwa. These two people could mobilize, could mobilize the so-called Team Ayamarwa. They come together. They buy cakes, not even a cake, cakes. They have money through Marwa. Through Marwa, they are earning. Through Marwa, they are receiving donation. They could have and make a cake. Actually, I'm giving you an idea. If you guys will watch this video, go and do it. Go and do it to shame me. Go and do it to prove me that we we have done it. They could go and buy a cake. They even write it, maybe Marwa, newborn baby. They buy champagne. They come together. That is now what you show uh, respecting somebody or what you show, uh, what we call... Uh, what we call, uh, how can I call it, a love, and showing uh, that you are grateful to this man. Imagine now Mara watching you guys, celebrating him here in the village, celebrating him in Kenya, back in the village in Yabuhansi, with a cake, champagne, trying to say that congratulations our boss. You give every person to talk on his and send his, his or her congratulations to Ayamarwa. How that one could be unique, rather than you guys. 
Even you guys, I can say you are ungrateful. You know, you, these people, they are the same people who run very fast and try to say that you guys, this man is ungrateful. He did this, he did this, he did this. But you are the leaders of ungrateful session. David Jr. being among them, and you two people, like, if you are not ungrateful, then you are going to that direction. Because do you know having a child? Do you know getting a child? It's not something normal. You know? Rocio giving a bath, uh, or Rocio delivery, we expected two things involved. It's either a child die, or Rocio die, or both of them alive. I, even it's three things involved. So that's not a joke. That's not something that you should know. You should go just and put a title that's celebrating Ayamarwa's new baby born. And we see you inside the, the maize plantation working. How is that a celebration? How are you celebrating? I even thought that this title, because it's celebrating Ayamarwa, I thought that you guys were at the villa, you have bought the cake and celebrating and sending congratulations to Ayamarwa. The way this young man did a birthday, and until today, he's, he's, he's below 5,000 subscribers. And Mara also rejected that man and said, no, that is stupidity of the highest order. Why are you drawing my name onto your hand? But these people, they had a very nice titles. Mayugno's title was one of the best. Nasto's title was one of the best. And if you guys you never thought of this, because I know accidentally or rarely you guys you watch me, but accidentally watch this video. Go and try and do that to prove us that you guys you are not ungrateful. Why are you taking that thing simple? Simple. And if you knew that you should not celebrate that thing, you could not come and pull those titles and we find you inside the maze while finding Mayuguno at his home. Uh, trying to sing uh, the Mayuguno miscompression, I don't know what. Is that celebrating Ayamarwa's uh, new baby boy? We expected you guys to do it in a unique way. And why are you calling yourselves Team Ayamarwa? Tell us. Why? Why are you calling yourselves? Why are you calling yourselves Team Ayamarwa? You are calling yourselves Team Ayamarwa just because you are a friend to him when he has something. Mayuguno cannot uh, miss to have uh, 5,000. Nasto 5,000. There is other YouTubers that are not, they, don't, they have not built, but they are Timayamara, Daihadas in the village. You call them, you mobilize them, you tell them, yo, you need to, to do a unique and uh, uh, a unique and a unique celebration. Maybe they, you guys, if you fear to hold it from the villa, because I know Congress that could chase you guys and you, you could not tell us. You could do it at your home from where Nasto is living. You call, you mobilize those people. You come and put a table, you do a something that is very unique. You put candles and everything and you celebrate the newborn baby. You welcome the, the Maisha, who has already, the name has already changed to Chacha Maroa. Eh? You welcome him to this world by enjoying, showing Maro that you love him. You know, you pop the champagnes. You, you, you make the, how do we call it? You know, you make things look unique. If Maro could watch that video, they, he could say, oh, truly, truly, I supported the right people. Truly, I own the right foot soldiers. Who has done that up to now? Starting from Prince Odinga, Timaya Maro. Who has done that? Because I've given you this idea. Now, I think in the next two to three days, you will see them now. Yeah, you know, we are uh, congratulating our boss. Yeah, he has a newborn baby. Ah. And you know, these people, they wrote a very nice titles. But when you, they meet somebody, I don't know, there is a, a person that Nasto met when they were with Mayukun. And they told him, do you know Marwa? This guy said, Marwa, this Marwa is living uh, just next year. Yes, he has a newborn baby. And that man was, ah, and that's now, that's now they call it celebration. I'm not basing this thing to Nasto only. I'm not pushing this story to Mayugun. 
I'm pushing this story to all people who call themselves Ayamarwa, Team Ayamarwa. And I told you earlier, they are attached themselves there just to milk, to overtake. Actually, these are the people who will help Marwa to go down very fast. Because they are there, but pretending that, uh, you know, me and Marwa, you know, me, I can't go against Marwa, you know. So that, in real sense, it's not that they mean what they say. Like, I can't go against Marwa. There are things that Marwa do, they are like, eh, this one, for sure. Even if I am team Marwa, this one is beyond. But they don't come out and speak. Why? You will not get the donation. Why? You will not get the people who are supporting Marwa to support you. You know? You will not get. Try and try, try, try and try and expose a little bit. You will expose somebody a little bit. I think these subscribers, I think it's only around 10% who has their own stance, who says, even if Gentani Senior is going to be against these people, me, I'm with Gentani Senior. 10% out of 100. Others of them, the rest, those are Tim Ayamara's diehards. So the moment you have mentioned Ayamara in a wrong way, the way Irene Jeff was trying to analyze, the way you have tried to mention Ayamara name in a wrong way, people are unsubscribing, you are not going to receive donors. And those people who uh, move with waves, they, have, they don't have stance. For me, I call them fakey subscribers. You are fake. And if you are here because I'm reacting uh, against those uh, Tim Ayamara, because the other day, or in the next year or the other time, I will change the content. So if you are here because of that reason, you, are, you better run away because you don't love me. You don't love me, you don't love my perspective, you don't love uh, my videos, you don't love what I do. You only hate the other side. You only love, you only love me when I talk against those people. Now it tells me that if I go and start to do a village vlog, you are not going to watch me. Run out of this channel. It's a free nation channel. Run, 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 run. When I say run, I mean run. Get out and run, run, run. We are tired of begging subscribers, like, come, do this. Run. I really know that's old, but I know, hey guys, I know all these people who are here. Those are die-harders of Gentani City. Because if these people could not my, be my die-harders, I keep on adding subscribers each and every day. It means people love my content and they know that they are, they are on the right channel. They are on the right YouTube channel. And that's the reason why I say, you guys, kudos, kudos. May God bless you abundantly for be with me. But if you are watching me because uh, maybe you are a viewer, because I have subscribers and viewers. I have people who run to watch me and listen. What is he saying? But they are Tim Ayamara. I really appreciate you also. Keep on running and tune in. Listen what I'm saying. Get angry. And uh, we keep on going. The world will continue to go and things will continue to go. And that person who was trying to tell me that, oh, we will see where you will go after school. Those curses, take them and fold them this way. Take them back to your kids. I'm somebody's son. Mara also is a somebody's son. You know? Pablo is also a somebody's son. When you send money to somebody to attack Pablo, when you send some money to people to tell other people, to expose other people, you are using somebody's son to attack somebody's son. And you have sons back at your home. Believe me not. Those people, those kids of yours, and me have learned this thing from the village. There is those parents that tend to think that their sons are one of the best. Like, when they see you with this, their son, they have already stereotyped you like, this man, this young man, for example, me now, your, your, your parent, uh, they are, your parents are somehow uh, rich, not rich, uh, we call it, uh, they are uh, middle class people. When I say rich, I should mean People who are whole, people who are owning this. Let me show you guys. 
when I say rich, I should be meaning these people who own this big building. Imagine like that building, one that building. That is somebody's building. That is somebody's asset. Look at others at this place. Even this one that I'm living. This guy is earning over 2.1 million a month. That is roughly. You know? That is a, a calculation, a calculation that we have done roughly. Because each and every house, people pay 7,500 Kenyan shillings. That is around $80. Not eight, around $70 there. And these houses are more than 400. Now you can multiply and tell me how much does this person earn? And those are the people that we call rich. And it does not really mean that they have one apartment. They have a lot of apartments. People are rich outside here. People are rich. People are rich. And those people who own these buildings, they are very, very humble and simple. You will never realize them until the time that you have pushed them into the world. They are like, hey, this guy now, you have gone to an extent. Do you know who I am? These people, imagine like this building that I'm staying. There is like, uh, this guy is owning more than 25 buildings in this Nairobi. Now you can tell me, how much does he earn? Does he earn monthly? And other people back in the village, they are calling themselves rich, looking upon other people. I was giving a story of those parents who have kids, and because they have a middle life class, the middle class life, they, and we are poor, when they see you with their son, maybe the son is my friend, we are working. Maybe you have gone somewhere, we have gone for a party. The parents tend to think that probably this young man who is coming from a poor background is the one who has told my son they go and party. And you know God is not blind. We grow, we grow, we grow. They see their, ch they see their children like they are one of the best. They are one of the best. They are one of the best. When we reach at the top, the person who was coming from a poor background and who these parents thought that this one was spoiling my child. He was the one who poisoning my child's mind. There was the one who was showing my child the bad things to do. You get that the son of a rich person is a drug addict. Very addictive. And we, we are just coming from a, back, a humble background. We are more active, more uh, sober 100%. Like the parents are like, whoa, for real. Don't ever underrate somebody when people are growing. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the type of celebration these people did to Ayamaro, recording themselves from the maze. Let me know what do you think about this video. And see you in the next video, guys. Get tuned. More videos are coming. Yentani Senior is very much energetic. More videos are coming back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. Until that day that I will tell you that now I'm out of this reaction. Guys, welcome back to my home. I will show you my projects. And let no one tell you, tell you that no, now Yentani Senior is in the village showing you that you want to make bricks, you want to build so that you guys, you can support. You are my people and that's the reason why you are in this channel. So, whom do you want me to go and tell? Do you want me to go to somebody's channel and try to tell uh, his people that, guys, uh, I want to start making bricks, kindly support? No, I need to tell my people. These are my people. You are my people, guys, and I really love you because of your support that you are giving me by watching my videos to keep on pushing. And don't hesitate to reach me out. My number is just there on the description. We can exchange ideas. We can... Uh... Anyway, see you in the next video, guys. Let me not talk much. And uh, be blessed. I really love you guys. Get tuned. More videos. Expect more than 25 videos this month. So, bye-bye.